Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Dorbin HD1D heavy-duty anodized bronze automatic door bottom. This is what it looks like in the edge. Profile view, I should say. Dorbin's, uh, Dorbin manufactures a lot of different door bottoms. Well, not a lot, but there's surface mount, and there's mortise mount, and then there's standard and heavy duty in both of those for sure. This is a surface mount heavy duty. So I'm going to show it in the camera here so you can absorb a look at it. The end that you're looking at with this slotted plunger is the hinge side. This is the side that must be mounted towards the hinge of the door. This is a 36 inch piece, so it's a bit difficult to show it to you in the camera all at once. You can see that it's 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 huge. It's it's large. Dorbin has this at one inch. You can see that's indeed the case. And then one eleven sixteenths overall height of the extrusion. Show it to you that way. Yeah, and that's indeed the case. Uh, it's huge because this is the heavy duty version, meaning that it's packing a really large piece of neoprene inside of it. It's also packing a piece of pile that you can see here. It fits into the extrusion on the inside channel, effectively giving you a double seal. A, a double seal in the sense that um, it's so large because the neoprene is so large and then it has the additional weather stripping con uh, feature of this pile that's on the inside that you know makes contact with the inside face of the extrusion. Uh, the, so the HD-1 that means this. this, that's what this is. The D means that it's in the anodized dark bronze finish. It's also available in aluminum. Okay, So here's how these work. You have this plunger, this slotted plunger, and you rotate it counterclockwise to get it to stick out of the edge of the extrusion. I'm so buried in there that it, it should have had a screwdriver, but I've got it out now. The amount that you rotate this counterclockwise is directly related to the amount of drop that the seal will exhibit. The maximum drop is 7 eighths of an inch. I can't push this in with my hand to show you how that works because the spring is just, eh, you can kind of see it. The spring is just simply too strong. But if I put the end on the on my desk and push down, you'll see, you'll see how it, it comes out. Okay? By design, by design, so the hinge side is down and I'm pushing this on the surface of my desk because I can't push it in strong enough with my hand to get it to show to show it to you. By design when you use this what the lock side will come down first but what will happen is it will hit make contact with the floor and then it will allow the other end to even out. So it pops out like that first and I'm using my hand as the floor and you can see that it evens out at the bottom so it contours itself to an uneven floor, not to a wavy floor, but to an uneven floor, this is a great item where a door sweep will fail on an uneven floor. This will conquer an uneven floor. Now, <clears throat> what you're seeing here is when the extrusion is flush, you got a little bit sticking out. That's normal. Dorbin's going to send that a little bit long and want you to cut it to length. They also recommend that you crimp the inside of the extrusion to keep the replacement seal from sliding out just through normal usage and time. It's not, it's not something that happens. It's not a great problem, but it's nonetheless something that they recommend that you do. Uh, and by the way, the replacement material is available. This pile and this neoprene you can buy as replacement material, but it would be a long time before you would need more of that stuff. It just lasts forever. Um, now, this has to go on the lock side because 
envision that this is mounted on the push side of the door and it's the only side of the door that it can be mounted on. When it's mounted on the push side of the door and your door closes, the plunger will come into contact with the stop of the frame. And when you continue to close the door, this has nowhere to go but in because it's being stopped by the frame. That is the action that forces this giant flat spring that's in there to push against the inner channel and force this bottom to drop down. You can trim this in the field up to four inch. Any more than that, and you're going to get into the internal construction of the item of the flat spring assembly. So you, you can only trim it more than uh, up to four inch. Obviously, you can't trim this side. You have to trim the, what is the lock side of this item. It's the only side that you can trim. There is a link below this video to uh, instructions, which basically uh, say what I've kind of just said. You're going to get screws to mount this, and it could be mounted either side because the screws are countersunk on both sides. You'll get these number six by inch and three quarter or whatever screws. Those will go through the assembly. It's got to go in. There we go. That's how that'll go. It'll look like that. You're also going to get a small screw and Dorbin's instructions say that you screw, simply screw this into the frame so it's flush so that your plunger will make contact with it and act as a strike, although they'll include an angle with some self-adhesive tape and you can stick that. There, there's, as far as I'm concerned, the, the, the tape is on the wrong side. It should be on the inside of this angle, I would say, so that you can you know, stick that onto the frame so that this will strike and not indent your frame and, and damage your frame. You can hold that on with a screw as well, I suppose, if you drilled the hole. Um, there is, uh, uh, th these are great items. Uh, I think Dorbin has been making these forever, literally forever. And uh, they're just great items, and they really, they really go about their way solving uh, a problem of a very nice seal where you don't have your, your, your bottom dragging against across the floor. That's, the, you know, that's, a, that's a major advantage of an automatic door bottom. Um, you could also semi-mortise this as well. There'd be no reason why you couldn't mortise the face of the door completely for this channel all the way in. Uh, you know, you have to consult your door construction. I'm not saying your door will be permissible to allow this, but if your door allows it, there's nothing in the material itself that would disallow it. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces in the website by entering that dimension in the comment field. Reasoning is this. It's a lot to cut these, okay? And I, since we're going to cut it before we ship it to you from stock, you know, uh, raw material, why not just allow us to cut it for you? A couple of reasons that that's good. Uh, obviously, you're not going to have to cut it again. Second, this screw hole, it's about three inches from the edge. If you had to make this 36 inch piece, 32 inch or 32 and a quarter, which you can do, you'll eliminate that screw hole. Then you're going to be in the position of having to drill another one and you're going to, you might hit some internal components. So by all means, let us cut these for you to length. We will locate the screw holes in the proper locations. No reason to cut twice. The instructions say measure the door. When measuring for these, close the door. You're on the push side only. Measure between the stops. Deduct a total of an eighth of an inch. They say a sixteenth of an inch from either end. Deduct an eighth of an inch because you need to allow this large channel to actually get in the opening. And that's about it. Automatic door bottoms are great solutions uh, to problems. I'm a big fan of them. They're not quiet. You can hear it when you close the door. Um, so keep that in mind. But it's never something that I've had a big complaint over. I've never had people say, oh, I can't use these. They're too loud. It has been mentioned, hey, you know, I can hear that when it closes. Well, of course you can. There's a lot of action going on. It's a large piece of material solving a problem. You know, a lot of people who like these, um, well, if you have a flooring condition, but guys who buy these are making home sound studios. Those guys love these. They use them all the time. It's really simply the, the poor man's version of being able to have a very high-rated STC door. 
If you have any questions on the Dorbin HD-1D uh, anodized bronze automatic door bottom or any other Dorbin product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.